All right, guys, how's it going? It is Shane, or Sonics, or Abstract Sonics, as some people might know me by. But um, today's gameplay, we have a 38 gun streak or kill streak solo by Abstract Flash. It's on Point Du Hawk. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. On World War II, um, and yeah, it's a pretty good gameplay. Make sure you show him some support and check out his channel, and also leave a like on the, on the video. Basically, I'm going to talk about my opinion that. World War 2 is not going to be a bad game this year. Obviously, opinions are going to be different for everyone. Um, not everybody's going to like it, and they're going to find some flaws with it and something wrong. But uh, every COD is like that, so like you know, there's always something wrong with a Call of Duty somewhere that people aren't going to be happy with. But um, overall, I think this should be a good game because it, it basically my reasoning behind that is because it feels like a classic COD. It looks like a classic COD. And that's like back when it was most popular, COD was most popular back when in the classics like World at War, uh, Modern Warfare and stuff like that. That's when like the most people kind of played it and where they built up their kind of community when like the foundations or whatever. Yeah, it does feel like one of them kind of CODs in my opinion. Um, I don't know if maybe people are new like they've only started playing COD in the last two or three years with the jetpacks and stuff. But um this, like, this was the foundation of COD, just boots on the ground, world wars, or whatever you want to call it, kind of era, and just, you know, simplistic, like, uh, just keep it simplistic is all they have to do really this year. I don't want them to start introducing, like, variants or silly stuff like that, just maybe customizable, like, so a bit like what they have on MWR right now, but I would say I don't want any, like, pay to win kind of guns in the game, because that is a bit sickening, like, if, if you have to like pay for supply drops to, to get a chance to get it, to get a certain OP weapon, it's just ridiculous because you might not actually get it. You could waste like a hundred euro or a hundred pound, whatever, for a certain weapon and might never ever get it. So it is a bit stupid. Like to keep it, if to keep it, but like BO2, because BO2 obviously was like one, probably the top three best Call of Duty games. Keep the maps simple. Like in BO3, if they're going to bring in like weapons, DLC weapons, maybe keep it to like a season pass or something that season pass holders can get it. So then at least more people can get it. Um, I know people still have to pay for this season pass to get it and all, but it seems a bit more reasonable than having to spend like hundreds on supply drops and whatever. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I think I'm going to just leave it at that. Like, hopefully the game will be really fun. I think it will be. But I said the I said the same for IW, but I wasn't a huge fan of IW myself. But hopefully this will be a, a better, more successful Call of Duty this year. And yeah, so if you enjoyed the commentary, guys, make sure you go check out my channel, and also leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the Abstract channel. And um, we've just hit 500 there recently. Had a montage. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'll see you guys later. Peace.